So I think you forcing them to have that human interaction. I think that's one of the role of the workplace. I think in a way, if architects were were thinking about that right from the start, they would be able to design very different working environment. Because when you talk to individual, they want a space to isolate themselves, to be able to have a quiet corner where they can work. But the majority of the time, they don't want to be alone. They want to be surrounded by people they appreciate. Um, and very often, this is not taken into account when you design workplaces. And if it was, you would have very different working environment, more spacious, more open, less physical barriers, more quieter corners you can escape to whenever, whenever you need. More focus on collaboration is another aspect which um, is often you know, ignored. Uh, we're still you know, going down the line of having uh, stylos workstation next to each other. Um, which are a normal way of working in today's environment, but probably not the one that people want to have. So I think that's quite uh, a big difference for me. Uh, I think the workplace has a lot to play in terms of uh, changing the behavior of individuals and educating them to use the space differently, interact with each other differently. We've seen a lot of uh, you know, beautiful examples of uh, workplaces which do not look like a workplace. More like, I call them streetscapes. So they're like uh, public spaces uh, with a range of different desks around and uh, you can just uh, you know, hang around like you wouldn't hang out into a village. And I really like uh, this concept. I think that is bringing a different dimension to the value of the space you have around you, but taking it within a corporate context. So uh, it's a little bit what we're doing now, uh, Thierry, you know, in a, in a park, <laughs> having a conversation, and and still it's a it's a very pleasant uh, environment to have a conversation. So I think a lot of our new concept take that into account, but they're more experimental. They're not, um, you know, spread out at a large scale. Um, very few companies believe into the value of these cyber spaces. Uh, and I think that's where, again, slightly more education needs to be done. Is at the moment there are like, you know, ideas there and then, very progressive organization who are thinking along the line of uh, activity based working, of the value of community into working environment, um, putting, putting some sense into that space. You know, bringing the value of uh, of space, immersion into space, um, but they're very rare examples. And um, I think in in the future we certainly need to pay much more attention to that, to bring that notion of five sense immersion into the working environment. You know, it's not only a physical environment; it has a meaning. It has a science. It has a DNA. Um, the, the vision of a, of a working environment can be very different, uh, uh, you know, from a company to another one. And it's this, this identity of the space which creates really the values of an organization, in, in my view. In my view, I think. In the future, we need to really push our, our thinking more down this line than just talking about square meters of space and optimizing space for square meters.